So, Martika, you, you've been uh, part of Jim's family for a long time now, haven't you? Oh, yes, you, you have, okay. Um, and we're really excited. So I've forgotten how many years you've been coming to the church now. It isn't that long, but we were really excited when you started coming to the church. And it's lovely to have you part of this fellowship. So this morning, you're being baptised because you're, you're trusting in Jesus yes, as your Savior. I guess I have. Let me ask the question first before Sorry. you say... I <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very no, good. no, that's fine. So this morning, you are trusting in Jesus, yes. Yeah. And this is totally your own decision? You, yes, it is. Um, you, you came to us and said, I'd like to be baptised, didn't you? Yes, yeah? I did. That, that's really good. Um, and what work do you do? You work in the hospital, uh, don't you? Yeah, I'm a cleaner at King's Lynn Hospital. Cl 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 cleaner at King's Lynn Hospital. And I think your testimony is that um, Jesus has helped you in that, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Um, helping me around the hospital and helping other patients as well and yeah. speaking to them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's really good. And, um, sorry, Fiona is... Fiona. Okay, fine, thank you. Um, and when you, when you came to the church, um, what what... What made you think that you'd like to come to the church? Did somebody invite you or...? My dad invited me to come every Sunday to see what it's like. Yes, and then what happened? And get to know Jesus a bit more. Yes. Yeah. About his life and some yeah. other people's lives. Yes, yeah. That, and, and that's happened for you? Yes, it has. Okay. So we all know it's a long journey to go. You begin um, and then there's always lots more to it. So... Um, when you come to be baptised, you're trusting in Jesus, and as your as his as your saviour and your Lord. Yes. 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 And you want to follow Jesus for the rest of your days. Yes. Amen. That's really good. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. That's really good. So, Marty, we heard you tell everybody that Jesus is your Lord and saviour. So, based on that, I now baptise you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And Ailey is part of our Bulgarian congregation, which meets this evening. And because some of the people are away, and Ailey is going to be our translator this evening, aren't you? You're translating me preaching. <laughs> so do you, do you want to give your testimony? Yes. Uh, yes. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah. Okay. So, so, but when when did you become a Christian? Uh, I become a Christian um, when I was um, eighteen years old. Yes. But I was baptized in Bulgarian church. As a baby. Um, uh, no, uh, eighteen years old when I was teenager. Oh, when when a teenager. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Right, uh, but w when I've talked with you, you hadn't been in a church much, had you? This, when you came to this country, this was the first church you belonged to. Yes, this is the first church I belonged to because in Bulgaria I didn't uh, go in the church, only, uh, only get uh, baptism. Yeah, okay, right, that's excellent. <laughs> so, um, w w when when you became a Christian, you knew that Jesus had forgiven you your sins. Um, I become a Christian uh, really when I come to this church. I realized oh, right. what uh, Christ uh, do for me, and uh, well, uh, He is my savior and my provider and i realized that oh right that's wonderful so so it all came alive when she came here hallelujah <laughs> yes <laughs> that, that's really good good and um just just so people know a bit so um you're, you're working here but but you have uh, when we talked you had some hopes things you wanted to achieve in life the, you, you wanted to work in office work um Yes, um, uh, before I uh, told you that, I, that I'm w uh, working in a factory and yeah. I want uh, 
I wish to work uh, yeah. paperwork. Yes. And uh, the rest is uh, rest me because I'm doing that now. Oh, you're doing it? Oh, wonderful! You've been promoted. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Well, and I know I know you're uh, trying to look, improve your English. I think your English is very good, but you're 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 learning English because you want you, you want to make your life in this country. You you want to stay here. Yes, I would like to stay here to make my own life. Yes. Well, Anela, it's absolutely pleasure. So Anelia, we've heard that you've confessed Jesus as your Lord and Saviour. So we baptise you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, hello to everyone. Uh, some of you know me a little bit already. Some not yet, but hope so, we will. <laughs> I'm from Poland. Uh, I'm living in West Beach about 16 years. Um, I'm happy that I can be part of that church and learn more about Jesus. Uh, before when I came here, we had a small group which we prayed in Jesus' name and the Holy Spirit came and filled us with God's presence. Uh, then some small miracle happened. Uh, we had been healed from disease. Um, God gave us not what we needed. He, he fixed our life step by step. And the way he did it, we started to want him more and more. Uh, we get all blessed. Um, that's why probably I'm here, to grow up in my faith and learn more from each other. Today is the day when I decide to be baptized and completely aware follow God and his, oh, sorry, <laughs> and his words through Bible. I will pray for his will and plan for my life. I'm thankful already that I am where, where, I, where I am now. Thank you for that church and for all of you that you're becoming to be a part of my life. Thank you. <laughs> So Paulina, do you say that Jesus is your Lord and Saviour? Yes. In that case, we now baptise you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning, Church. My name is uh, Isabella, and um, I want to share my testimony with you today. For the first time in my life, I felt present of God when I was 12. That was the time when my grandfather passed away. He was a very important person to me because he raised me when I was a kid. When I found out that he had the cancer, I prayed a lot to God and asked him for his healing. But one day my grandfather died. And I remember that I was very mad at God to the point that I, to st I start to doubt in him. But uh, he did something unusual uh, for me. On my grandfather's funeral, suddenly I was filled with incredible peace and joy that was within me. It was such a heavenly feeling that I had never had before. I didn't understand what was that, but later I realized that God wanted to, show, to comfort me and show me that he is with me in this difficult time. And this is another testimony. Last year I had a, a bad accident where I broke a tibia and fibula in my leg. This is the picture. This is the tibia, and this is, I don't know, maybe it's not clear. There's a break into places over there. <laughs> maybe that's what is the Maybe not. And uh, I had an operation where they put inside of my bone one metal nail and five screws. This is another picture, maybe it's more clearly. <laughs> this is the nail, and this is the screws in there. This is my leg now. <laughs> And uh, I was struggle a lot, especially to straight my leg because the screws uh, were blocking my knee. Uh, one day, Simon visited me and he offered me to pray. After we finished pray praying, my leg has been restored and was, I was able to move my leg like I used to do. At that time, I also still had to take a strong painkillers because I was suffering a lot from the pain. And another time, Simon prayed again for my leg. And the next day I just noticed that all my pain was gone and I never back again. 
I want to praise God for everything what he do in my life. I want to follow Jesus Christ and give him all my glory. Amen. So Isabella, do you proclaim Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. So our confession of your faith, we baptize you in your name, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.